Hey there, this is Dan. In this quick video, I will show you what exactly megaphonos are. Because megaphonos actually are a thing that we invented as a, as a term, and it's not something that you might uh, have uh, encountered with in the past. So what is megaphonos in the Symbolic platform? Basically, we call megaphonos a phono that has multiple small phono flows inside of it. Like in this case, with the sales phono megaphono, uh, we have a browse page where you can have the different products and each product can have its own phono within the same phono which would go to a different landing page, a checkout, a, a thank you page but you can also do it for not being a sales phono it can be a lead generation type of a mega phono where you have different quiz pages for example for the different types of people that they choose within the same phono so let's create our first one and it will be so much easier when you see actually how it works and how you can utilize it for your business All right, so here we are within a mega phono that is a template inside the platform. Uh, so this is the browse page and let's look into the actual steps that we have inside. Now here we have the landing page, the browse page where you can actually go to the different flows inside. So as you can see, we also use the separator. So this is a new step. When you add a new step, you have the sections label, the separator we call them, where you can add it to distinguish the different flows within your mega funnel or funnel in general. So uh, here we have the landing page and we have the first flow, which is the three step uh, sales flow for a product with its own product page, checkout and the thank you page, only for this product. And then you have another one for another product. And you can have multiple like this ones, as actually as many as you want, different sm small flows within the mega funnel itself. And at the end, we'll finish with some terms pop up, for example. So here it is an example of such a landing page where you can have your three different products. They can be different plans, different products, all together, whatever you want. And like I said, it can be for lead generation. And instead of having a price in something, you can have people to, let's say, submit a quiz or a form that is uh, specifically tailored for them, for their needs, or in a flow of its own, with its own thank you page. If it's a quiz, you can even set them to a specific other flow as well. So in this case, it's a sales mega funnel. We have the different products. You can actually have different um, also different deals as well that can open its own again uh, flow within the same funnel here we have some other information again finishing with different options that they can choose and each one will go to a specific in this case product one the other one to the product two the third one would go to product three so when you create your small um, your small funnel inside you can simply duplicate all the steps inside of it and create it for the second the third the fourth or as many as you want flows within your mega funnel and here it is that uh, this is the flow for the first product which is again a landing page one of the great designs that we have inside the same with the platform and this would only show for people who choose to purchase this product and it is dedicated for this particular product alone and then again a checkout only for this product only dedicated for it and uh, you can easily see who gets to which product what is the conversion rate how much they generated of course you can see it on the site as well but this is a, a better way of creating different flows and you can actually optimize for sales or for lead generation again you can if you do let's say a flow that is not about a product if it's about a quiz that they have to submit you can simply delete the checkout and only have it with two steps a product uh, or a quiz page let's say and you can just drag and drop the quiz inside of it and people would would just fill this quiz that you have created for them for that specific type of a user and then another one for the other type of a user and then again with a custom thank you page they were to their um, you know group of, of people uh, submitting this uh, this particular quiz or form or whatever it is so these are the mega funnels so what are the advantages from having different small funnels uh, well first of all everything um, let's say you have a drop of a specific things products that are uh, that you want to see all the information inside the same funnel, also to share the same domain. So instead of having all these things in different funnels that you have to browse through and find all this information, you can have everything within the same one and clearly see and compare them how they, they you know, how they convert, how, how many people actually choose a specific plan 
or product or, or, or whatever it is. And you can see all the sales, and specifically the sales is really cool, because you can see all the sales uh, within the same funnel. It's not separated into different funnels, it is within the same. And you can see the different products once again, you can see all the performers and products, and you can do amazing filtering as well within the store, within the mega funnels. And you can you know, filter by different criteria, and you can see which products purchase people have purchased. It's so cool when you have all this information within the same funnel, within the same store analytics, rather than having them into three different funnels, for example, which are not connected. In this case, they're all connected. They all share the same database, they share the same email marketing, they share, they share the same contacts and everything. So that is the power of the mega funnels because you have this flow inside sharing everything together. So this is the concept. I hope that you enjoy it. It's really cool, especially when you do this type of drops with different products that you have inside or different um, you know sections that you want people to to branch out to but again not like a website to just lose them somewhere with distractions but actually have a very targeted way of um, you know showing them a specific flow based on their preferences all right i hope that you enjoyed this video uh, let me know in the comments what do you think of the megaphonos is it something that you can use for your business uh, and in general what do you think about them like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for the channel for awesome new videos coming every week thank you